Hi, guys. Welcome to this video. In today's video, we are going to be doing a scenario where all the U.S. states have been given independence and are going to kill each other. Um, so let's just get rid of Alaska and Hawaii because basically they're not really going to do anything, really. But we'll keep them on the map because I might want to bring them in later. Who knows? Anyway, we are going to, first of all, do, um, we're going to show you, I'm going to show you the configuration and like how this will work. And then we'll get straight into it. So yeah, let's get started. All right. So how this is going to work is, um, we're going to generate a U.S. state from here, not territories of states. So like here, I've gotten Rhode Island. Um. Then I'm going to spin this wheel so you can have war, alliance, or ideology. Now, ideology doesn't do anything, but it can affect how alliances come out. So, like, I've landed on war. Now, I would at rand Now, here's Rhode Island. Let's just color it just the right. For the sake, for the sake of simplicity, let's just fill it in with red. Um, so. Let's say it's going to attack, here I will choose, like, where will it attack? Will it attack Connecticut or Massachusetts? So let's say it attacks Connecticut. And then, then I might, if there's a huge power, if there's a huge un power unbalance, then I'll just call, then I'll just call it an immediate win for the, for the person with the more, with the higher power. But if it's relatively even, then I'm going to do, like, a full-on battle. Um. Yeah. Also, I have an entire and I have an entirely different wheel for the ideologies. So let's get started. Anyway, so the first U.S. state that we're gonna be editing today is Missouri, and it's going to have what is it gonna have? Let's see. Dun 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 dun. dun, 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 dun. It's going to have an alliance. So Miss. Yay! So it, Missouri is gonna have an alliance with Arizona. So that so that's cool. So Missouri and Arizona, they're gonna be the red teams. They're gonna be the red team. Missourona. Um. All right. Let's do. So this is just gonna keep on repeating. Now we have Missouri again. So this is just gonna keep on repeating until eventually there's only one left. And if there's um and if there's only alliance states left, then I'll just make them break the alliance. War. Missouri is going to war, baby. So it has a lot of neighbors it can choose from. But to get closer to Arizona, it's going to decide to take on Oklahoma. No, wrong 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 thingy. It's going to decide to take on Oklahoma. So, um, yeah, it's going to take on Oklahoma. So immediately, the red troops start coming in through this tiny little gateway, come into Oklahoma, and they take some little areas. Um, this is starting to get really big, but they're only doing little advances in certain areas. They start to encircle some lands and eventually take all that, which is very concerning. I would say it is pretty concerning. Um, but anyway, Oklahoma decides just for safety, it's going to move its capital somewhere over there. But did you forget Arizona has an alliance with Missouri and it sends Arizona to sends a message to New Mexico. It's like, hey, can I position a lot of troops through you? Yeah, thanks. And then there's some Arizona troops, and Arizona takes the capital. Oklahoma is forced to surrender, and it is split. I'm not joking. It's, I'm joking. It's not split because no exclaves. I don't like exclaves because they're, they're really annoying to fill in. Um, so now Oklahoma is incorporated completely into Missouri. So Oklahoma no longer exists 
What? That's crazy. That's crazy because Oklahoma is a very cool state. And the fact that it doesn't exist anymore is just crazy. Okay. Missouri, Oklahoma, Miss, Miss, Oklahoma, and Arizona. The only thing separating them is New Mexico. So, so I think, I think we all know what's going to happen next. But maybe we don't because this is all random. All right. South Carolina. It's time for South Carolina to do something. Let's see what they're going to do. What are they going to do? It looks like they're going to declare war. And you know exactly where this is going to go. Yep, war time. Anyway, if you couldn't tell by my by what I was trying to say, South Carolina is going to unite the Carol. South Carolina is going to try to unite the Carolinas by, by trying to invade North Carolina. It's the Battle of the Carolinas. Um so, so the North the North Carolinas the North Carolinas how do what, what's the denim? The the North Carolina I'm just gonna call I'm just I'm no denonyms. No denonyms. North Carolina has been observing the Battle of Oklahoma, but and they know that since Oklahoma moved their capital to the farthest place but Arizona was closer, and in an alliance with Missouri, Oklahoma was easily captured. But South, but South Carolina doesn't have an alliance. So that means I can just move my capital here to Virginia, and that won't do anything bad. So that's what they do. South Carolinans hear about this, and they decide to march in anyway. They start marching in into the south of North Carolina, which doesn't really make sense. Capture all that land. But North Carolina un immediately undoes this because North Carolina is bigger and stronger, but not strong enough for me to automatic to automatically end it. Um, North Car South Carolina sees what they're doing, but they don't have enough time to change the capital because the capital is already being raided. So North Carolina and South Carolina have been united under the North, which is cool. So now. We all know who the true Carolina is. Now let's see that. Now let's see the same thing happen to the Dakotas. I remember when there was one Dakota. Imagine like you're making a flag and then you have to completely buy a new American flag because North Dakota was added. Anyway, next next state up is going to be Nebraska, and they are going to do something. What is Nebraska going to do? For Nebraska is over here. That's Nebraska. And they are going to go to war. People are just hungry for bloodshed. So far, at least 20,000 people have died from all these conflicts. Yeah, they aren't really that violent for two wars. Um, but they are still pretty violent. Anyway, Nebraska decided, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to fight the Missouris, the Missouri, because I think I'm tough, and I'm just kidding. They think they're tough, but not tough enough. But not, not tough enough. So they're going to invade Kansas. Um, why, why is Kansas in blue? Okay, but... Here, Kansas can be in yellow. Kansas is yellow. Kansas is all yellow. The yellow now. Anyway, Kansas apparently has the power of bias. I'm just kidding, I don't do bias. But so Kansas Kansas troops from Kansas start marching in on on a quest to split the country in two. And you know how bad I deal with with exclaves. They've done that. Makes this area easier to capture. Nebraska is like, oh crap, they've taken a lot of my land. And they may or may not have taken my capital. So I'm just going to surrender. This was a bad idea. And then Kansas says, sure. But actually, how about instead you just give us your entire state? That sounds that sounds like a much better plan. And Nebraska says, okay. So, yeah. Now all that is Kansas, Nebraska. But it's just Kansas, really. I don't know why I'm calling it Kansas, Nebraska. 
Also, have you seen some of these script off topic? While I'm just editing this border, have you seen how square Colorado is? Like, bro. Anyway, I I realized that once I'm done. That once a country is neutral, I should probably turn them into white so that it's easier to understand which countries are neutral and which countries have an alliance or something. Anyway, next country, next one. Why am I saying countries? They're all states. States are countries now. Anyway, next one up is North is the Carolinas. Carolina actually has an advantage if you if you have claimed another country if you claimed another territory then. Actually, you do have the. Then actually, you'll be able to, like, have more of a shot of doing stuff. North Carolina. Will we get the Carolina Dakota Alliance that we've all been that we all want and need? No, it's gonna get an ideology. Now, ideologies basically restrict your alliance. Um, this will restrict your alliances, meaning. That really, it basically just makes it so that you have more restrictions now. Because maybe if you're a capitalist, you're not going to want to be friends with communist Carolina. Okay, let's see. Okay, cool. So, the Car Carolina has converted to fascism. Yay! I'm being sarcastic. Um, Now, I'm... So whenever a country gets a new ideology, they get a symbol. Now, um, since their since their ideology is fascism, I'm going to draw the thing, but I'm not going to draw it all the way because it could be offensive. So I'm just going to fill it in. Three. It looks like it looks like a man with long hair waving. You know what? That's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna make. He's he's just a tall. Man. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna put a big F. No symbols, just F. Oh crap! Just a big F. They're fascist. Yay. Okay. This will limit their um. This will limit their alliance capabilities because unless there's another fascist state, no one's gonna want to make an alliance with fascist Carolina. That's just wrong and weird. Um. Anyway, so, yeah, let me open back the actual one. Okay, next state, it's going to be Nebraska again, but Nebraska is dead. It's Kansas now. So, Kansas, what's Kansas going to do? Is it going to invade more? Is it, do you, does it, is it finally ready to invade Missouri, Arizona? No, it's going to become an ideology again. I, uh, why? Just why? Just why? Oh, they're practically useless. Anyway, let's see. Um, keep in mind this is taking place in the sixties. Just letting you know. Okay, communism. Yay! Now keep in mind this is happening in the sixties. So, um, so this is in the Cold War. But the Cold War has basically stopped because there's no America. It's only Soviets. So. In this alternate timeline, Soviets win the Cold War because there's no one to fight. Um, so Nebraska is communist. Um, the communists and the fascists might actually get along, maybe. Who knows? Well, this is post-World War II, so probably not. But who knows? Anything can happen. This is random U.S. thingy. All right, now we, have, now we got the Colorado. I was just talking about this thing. Let's see if it's going to lose its ultimate squareness. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh my god, I hate this. Why is it always ideology? I just, I don't know why I even added them. But it makes things more interesting. So, sure, let's do it. All right, let's see. Yep, left. okay, come on, you can do it. Oh god, it's going to be communist. Great, Colorado is communist. Uh, is communist. Just maybe, maybe the influence from Kansas and Nebraska is going a bit heavy on them. And you know what? Normally, I won't do this, but since they're both communist and neighboring, I'm gonna make them form an alliance. Um. Also, 
the these guys they're going to become i these guys are going to be yellow they're going to be yellow because i want to save the red for them communists <laughs> I want to save the red for the communists. So yeah, communist alliance, Missouri, Arizona alliance. These ones actually touch. We might see a big old war, but we we'll, we won't know. Now, if it lands on ideology again, I will delete my YouTube channel. That's a third chance that I lose four years of progress. Oh my God, bro. My God. I'm joking, I'm not going to delete my YouTube channel. But my god, this is the fourth time. If this happens again, I'm just going to spin again. Because I don't want to deal with this, bro. I don't want to keep on doing this. Otherwise, it's just going to get boring. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Hawaii. Ah, yes. The good old days of the Hawaiian monarchy. Um... Yeah, Hawaii. Hawaii's a monarchy now. Little crown. There, there's your Hawaii crown. I'm just gonna write a name. I'm just gonna write a name. M. There's your M. Yes, there's your how Hawaii is a monarchy. Cool, coolio. Anyway. That that's cool. That doesn't matter because why? It's it's just like the old days, right? Before the U.S. took over, Hawaii was an independent. Um, it was an independent monarchy, and it, and it had the Union Jack on it, even though it had nothing to do with the Brits. Finally, not ideology alliance. Finally, yay! Let's see. It's between Nebraska, Kansas, and Virginia. Ooh. Now, Virginia isn't completely opposed to join to joining the Communist Alliance, but it's not really accepted in the community, considering boop, 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 fascist, fascist with communism does not miss that well. But they decide to join, even though they're not communist, but they will join anyway for extra protection. And they are... So, they're, they're kind of half communist because, like, even though they say they aren't, the the government, most of the people in the government are. So we're just going to put half a sickle. You get, you get a tiny one because you're not official. It's not official, so, so they... Not a, it's not an official, so they get a tiny one. There. Okay. Cool. So Virginia. So this has been not that good because I can, I can see a big old, I can see a big old war come up. Okay, now we got the West Virginia. Could we get an ideal? Could we get an ideological war? Ooh. Oh, we might. We might. We might. I might force it because unless they get calm, if they okay, something interesting is gonna happen because nothing happens. If West Virginia gets communism, it's going to unite. They're going to unite the Virginias. If West Virginia gets anything else, they're going to go to war. They get democracy. Wow. Wow. Very cool. They get democracy. Democracy. Um, everyone practically is a democracy. So I'm just going to put capitalism. Democracy is now capitalist. Um, now there's going to be the Virginian War. We're going to do the Virginian War now. It's going to be really... Anyway, so, West Virginia versus True Virginia. Who will win? Let's see. So, the Virginians immediately want to turn, want to make West Virginia actually a West Virginia with... <laughs> with parts of southwestern Virginia becoming West Virginia. And they want Virginia to change their name to East Virginia. And they have the Virginia Wall. No, I'm just kidding, there's no Virginia Wall. So it's West versus East, let's see. Um, 
<laughs> but remember how the communists have an alliance, right? So they push back, and they basically kind of force Virgin the Virginians to unite. And since there's actually more communists than capitalists in the West for some reason, the government decides to overthrow the go- the new the the now new government decides to overthrow the old government, and they make they they make Virgin they make proper United United Virginia. It's also communist, like fully. Um. Yeah. Okay. Next next state. Let's see. If it's ideology again, I'm going to cry. Okay. The Nebraska. This is the third time. The, these guys are on a roll. Um, if a country with an ideology already has an ideology, I'm just going to roll again. Just because it's going to be boring. Yeah, like that. Yeah. No, I'm not doing it again. Okay. It's going to go to war. <laughs> now it's time for a moment you've all been waiting for. The communists versus Missouri, Arizona. And I'm just kidding. We're not doing that yet. Because Missouri, Arizona is actually very powerful. It could potentially destroy millions of people. Actually, they're going to plan on invading... Um, it's a little place called Iowa. Yeah, you maybe maybe heard of it. Actually, they decide to take on Wyoming because they don't even have a million people in them. They don't even have a million. That's how small and that's how small Wyoming is. They don't even have one million people. So they decide to so so they decide to invade Wyoming, and Wyoming barely has a military. So they're just like okay. And Wyoming is forced to join. Um, Colorado basically says, you know what? We, we've been in an alliance and um, we practically have no borders because Border Patrol basically just is just a sign that says, welcome to Colorado. How about we just unite? And they say, okay. They're, so now they've united and they are now the communist state's of America. The old border still insists inside of them, but as states, but right now they are the communist states of America. Um, Virginia can also join in too. Um, Vi- the Virginia can also join in too. And West Virginia will become a state. We have some more land. Cool, communist states of America, but they have exclaves. So I think we are going to see what happens next. We're, they're going to... Iowa and Illinois and Tennessee kind of scared about this, to be honest. So they're like, yeah, no, let's go to war against this guy. Spoiler alert, it didn't go too well. Now Iowa, all those, they're now part of the, of this, of the communist states of America, which is no, no good. Actually, the communist states are actually very close to the capital. Wow. Um, but yeah, the borders are solidified even more by, by getting the communist states recognized by the UN, because really they don't, the UN doesn't really like having invasions, but in this, but since there are states and the region is already in collapse, they're like, eh, why the hell not? And just sort of allow it. So yeah. Communist States of America. Um, now, let's see what let's see what happens next. Let's see in the ultimate battle, maybe hopefully. I'm excited.